So a bunch of women are starting to riot down in Medellin, Colombia, because they're really sick of passport bros going down into their country and turning their cities into brothels. Now look, I actually kind of empathize with passport bros because back in the West, most people are in a place where they hate themselves. So why not go into another part of the world where you can find a partner who's less focused on all the bull in our politics, in our gender wars, etc., and build a nice life with a person who's just mentally put together. But at the same time, passport bros have a really up reputation because they go into cities like Medellin, get on dating apps, and then lie, take advantage, roofy local women, just so that they can get quick because they know they can leverage their US dollar salaries in order to seem cooler than they actually are. When back at home, they would be considered complete losers. So if you're thinking about going out into the world and being a digital nomad, please, for the love of God, don't go to places like Medellin or Bali or Thailand and become the bull tourist that everyone hates. Because if you're gonna do that, do us all a favor and just stay the Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what is good, what is good, what is good? Of course, you know who I be, good doc, Dr. Mike TV, back again, once again. You should already know who Insta Classic gonna make and like, subscribe, do all that good shit. I would have to say that the greater majority of my content that I create that is passport bro related, I would say the greater majority of that, probably about 95% of the content that I make about this particular group of individuals is positive. Right? I like to believe that at its core, what the mission was, what I believe the mission to be was, back in the day, at its core, was something that I believed in, right? I do believe in the ideology of, hey, if I'm not comfortable or I'm not finding a compatible match with me, with a particular young lady um, in my own home country, whether that be, you know, the United States, Europe, whatever it may be, why not seek options elsewhere? That at its fundamental sound base was what I believed the movement was all about, which was why in the beginning, 100%, I support it. Until this day, I don't necessarily speak on the movement itself very much. Um, a lot of the guys that rock with the good doc in this community, shout out to the IPA, you already know what it is. Um, a lot of them probably wouldn't consider themselves to be passport brethren. But at the same time, I do believe that at its core and at its foundation, what I said before was what I think the majority of us believed in. Hence the reason why yours truly has a Filipino wife, right? Um, even though my situation may be a little bit different than a lot of the guys traveling right now, if I ever need to tell my story, I will, but I'm not going to get into it. Um, although my story is different, I do believe fundamentally that a lot of guys, that's genuinely the purpose. Hey, man, I just want to see what it's like or what options I have overseas, pretty much. But this particular video, shout out to the Anti-Prophet. I do watch a lot of his short form content, man. But this is some very damning, 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 not necessarily evidence, but scenarios and words or things that are being thrown at these particular groups of individuals. Let me pull my glasses up real quick because we about to get a little bit real for a second. All right, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's, it's always been a battle, in my personal opinion, between passport brethren and Western women, right? It's always been this constant struggle, right? Oh, these guys can't get vagina in the United States. <laughs> That's why they're going overseas guys talking about well you know if y'all would be less masculine and be more feminine and be in the kitchen we wouldn't have to do you, you know the talking points but i really don't want to go into it because at this point it's pretty much run-of-the-mill saying bullshit right um but at the same time one thing that a lot of the people who are against the ideology of passport brethren one of the things that they do talk about the most is the simple fact that these guys are going overseas to take advantage of the women over there and at some point if countries are holding rallies to prevent certain guys from coming into the country you're pretty much to an extent proving the people who are saying this shit to be right about y'all <laughs> right let me say that one more time for all of my individuals in the nosebleed if people are holding rallies in foreign countries to say hey man don't let these people in they fucking it up man they turning our beautiful cities into you know their own personal playgrounds and places where they're you know just trying to hook up with a whole bunch of our women and possibly get them pregnant or possibly pass on certain diseases and this that and the other you know we don't want them here right the greater majority are probably out there saying yo we really don't want they ass here right and if that's the case, in my opinion, if that's the energy you have and that's the reason why you're traveling overseas, then all you're doing is proving your naysayers to be right about you. 
oh you can't get women in the united states so you just go overseas to take advantage of all these women from you know i would say third world countries they're not necessarily all poor and uneducated and all that shit because that's not fair because trust me the greater majority of women in these countries albeit not first world like the united states the greater majority of them have a pretty decent head on their heads decent head on their shoulders excuse me and they can make sound judgment decisions and they're typically with the guys that they're with because they want to be there not necessarily because they are being taken advantage of and i've told you guys before too many guys are traveling at this moment going overseas more places so like of course the philippines and if you can make it in japan and korea and thailand and then of course you know the dr colombia you know the the trilogy over there in south america dr colombia and brazil um they're making their way over there and at this point, I tell you time and time again, foreigners are becoming a dime a dozen abroad, right? Unless you're able to carve out this nice little location where, you know, it's kind of untapped, chances are you're traveling to the same places that everybody else is traveling, correct? So if you're over there traveling to these places and these are the things that you're actually participating in, you're fucking up, right? And it's getting to the point where it's being recognized by the government and or the people are trying to get the government's attention <laughs> to say, hey man, don't let these people in here. Look at what they're doing. And what's gonna happen is for anybody who really is, I won't gonna sit there and say, oh, everybody who's really in it to try to find a good woman and all that shit, doing all this is gonna fuck it up for them. But that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's gonna F it up for the guys who aren't participating and all that shit and guess what when it comes to government authorities and shit like that how are they going to be able to separate the crowd right when they all look like you and me and it doesn't necessarily pertain to just race in general it pertains to everything when they just look foreign right how are they going to be able to separate the good from the bad the people who are there to genuinely have a good time and not really take advantage of women and stuff like that they want to enjoy themselves of course have a little fun i mean damn we're not fucking saints over here but have a little bit of fun but yeah and still not be over there exploiting and doing all this extra shit from the individuals who are there for the nefarious activities it's going to be hard to do that so guess what they're going to do just say f it we don't want none of y'all right if we can't take some of y'all if some of y'all gonna act up then none of y'all can come and that's generally the type of energy that i'm getting from this particular video i'm hearing yo eventually they may shut down the borders from foreigners now of course i know <clears throat> in the greater majority of the countries that a lot of these guys are traveling to tourism is top notch right tourism is the coup de grace that is what brings in the big bucks so it's going to be hard for them to in my personal opinion just say hey man we're done with all foreigners because you guys don't know how to act right or these quote unquote passport bros are coming over here and it's messing it up for the rest of you guys so guess what none of you guys can come it's going to be hard for them to just cut off ties right you know for travel to those particular countries but at the same time it does become concerning to me when people are having these types of rallies or they're having these types of talking points because you know it doesn't have to be a government thing right let's let's be honest let's call it for what it is let's 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 bring it down a notch and let's bring it down to a level we can all understand everybody heard of vigilante justice right everybody's heard of taking matters into your own hands right so you could travel to these countries but if you get around a certain people that feel a certain type of way because they feel you specifically maybe not you would not maybe not technically you but you and the people who look like you were in the country fucking it up for everybody else or doing bad by quote unquote the women of the country the local women and a lot of these guys feel a little bit away about it oh they'll just take their matters into they'll take matters into their own hands and ladies and gentlemen that's not what none of us want Okay, that's not what none of us want. And I've always encouraged guys, y'all gotta act right when y'all travel overseas, right? Come on now, let's, let's, come on now, damn, I shouldn't have to say this, man. It's, it's annoying to have to be repetitive about this, but at the same time, it must be said, yo, we cannot be going to foreign countries and cutting up like this. Because when you cut up on a level where it's starting to draw attention of the people as a whole and they're trying to get the attention of the government to start making decisions and making rules to you know limit certain things that you could do in country and whatnot who does that really hurt don't hurt me i'm married man i you know i, I mean fuck, i got mine right been there done that right but at the same time you only hurt yourself all right you are truly truly only hurting yourself so i would love to hear what you guys got to say about the particular content today whether you believe oh doc you just tripping 
The people over in these countries just tripping. We ain't over there doing all that. Nobody want these hoes anyway. We just over here have fun and we gonna do what we wanna do because we passport bros for life, right? If you that type of guy, good luck. But if you're like, you know, doc, I can see where you're coming from with this one, you know. At the same time, I'm kind of on the same level as you. You know, I just want to go have a little bit of fun, you know, talk to a couple girls, of course, you know, do a couple dates and everything and just, you know, see what my options are. Then comment down below and let me know whether you agree or disagree, right? This is The Good Doc, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. If you haven't already gotten your merch, IPA merch, listed below the links in this video, books, all the Good Doc's good stuff, Good Doc's good books, good shit. Links in the description there below. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.